Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham and I'm going to be testing these. The Callaway Apex CF16s. So 2016 model of the Apex Iron. I've got it in the 7, the 4 and the Pitching Wedge in both the Apex and the Apex Pro. I'll be reviewing those next. And also I've got the hybrids, the new Apex Irons. Right, let me just put that four and pitching wedge down for a minute because I'm, I'm going to be hitting those but we'll start off with the seven iron and um, right apex iron is kind of the iron which sits for the slightly better player lower handicapper range and certainly when you turn into the pro version even lower handicap still because they get smaller in size um, however what they've apparently done is put a lot of their new technology that they've not featured in apex irons before into this stuff like the 360 cup face which Still can't quite get my head around because it's not maybe as visual as some other effects. Underneath the cut, it's supposed to be more forgiving at the bottom of off-centered hits. It's supposed to produce more ball speed and all of that goodness. Um, the lofts on the Apex are stronger than the Pro and quite a bit stronger. In the middle range of the clubs are about three degrees stronger than the Pro. I would say the Pro irons are quite um, I can't, neutral lofts. So not strong and not certainly not weak, kind of in the normal lofts, let's say. These are a little bit stronger than normal. So a seven iron here that I'm hitting, this is 31 degrees. The six iron I play currently is 30 degrees. So really that's pushing right up to that limit of being a six iron. I would expect to be carrying around 180 marks. So I've got some new software, some upgraded software, the FSX for GC2. So let us know in the comments below what you think about the new software. And let's get hitting this. So it has got a kind of a, a satin chrome finish, which is a also a brushed polish, which I think looks very, very smart with the black detail and across the back and a little bit of jazziness across the back edge as well. These are a forged iron, so should feel quite soft. Um, but like I said, I'm going to give you my feedback on them when I hit it and let you know how, uh, how I think of them. Right, let's get hitting. So seven iron, I reckon re roughly carrying about 180 for, because it's 31 degrees. Let's give us a hit. Well, that felt lovely. You can see the new software up on screen. Don't go too far. Oh, that was my fear. That was my theory they were going to go too far. And that sounds ridiculous. Um, I didn't try and absolutely kill that. And that's carried 188. It's had a little bit of draw shape on it. The spin is incredibly low on that, only 5,000, which I'd be normally looking at 7,000 for a 7 iron, 6,000 for a 6 iron, which, you know, this is almost in that category. Um, yeah, that was interesting. I didn't want it to go that far. Feel-wise, it felt lovely. It felt absolutely lovely off the face. So a couple more. It's going to go a touch further left. Better distance on that one. Didn't seem to, you know, not stupidly long. <clears throat> the reason why I say I don't, you know, I don't want these to go stupidly long. Granted, you've got the pro version, which is more neutral lofts. But there's going to be a lot of players that have some of the Apex CF uh, 16s in the longer clubs and they're moving into the pros and the shorter clubs. What happened, though, when, when that discussion started to take place, they noticed that the lofts were too off. And I do believe now they've brought out a combo set of CF and pros combined together, slightly um, put the lofts a bit more in tune with each other and finished it with a satin finish, which I think are going to be their most popular club because it kind of, it's the best of both worlds, not overly strong, not too weak. I, I think, I fear these for the better player might be a little bit too strong in lofts for the better player. However, they feel delightful. Get on the green. Yeah, they feel, they actually feel lovely off the face. I can tell that they're, they're a bit of a forged finish. It's like they pushed out, but I can feel they're a bit of a, a forged finish. Um, and, and do actually feel lovely. I'm just, like I say, I'm just scared that they go too long. Now, <laughs> granted, some of you out there might be thinking, brilliant. <laughs> who doesn't want them go, who doesn't want them to go too long? I just don't know if uh, the better player would appreciate that. Right, let's hit one more with the seven, then we'll move into the four. Massive height. One of the things I've noticed, even though it 
I'm feeling like I'm hitting a stronger club. They are massive, massive height. Let's just see what the spin's doing on that. Cause it, when I looked a minute ago, it seemed to be kind of up and down with the spin rate. Uh, nice new graphics there up on screen. Hopefully you're liking those guys. Again, comment down below if you are. Uh, 5,200, the average spin rate is 5,500. I'm seeing that as being a little bit too low for the 7 iron. It'll be interesting to see when, it, when I test up against the Pro, how that sits. So let's hit some 4 irons next. So the 4 iron is 21.5 degrees, which then isn't super strong for a 4. Uh, let me just move myself slightly further back from the pin here. Um, I don't know how far from that honest. I've got 230. Um, <clears throat> so the four iron, 21.5 degrees. Lovely looking head. Not not scary at all. You know, not too thin, not too small. Nice shape to the head as well. And what a flight that was. What a beautiful flight that was. Yeah, it's just landed just under that two kind of. 20-ish mark, that came out really solid, and it felt, that's a good description of the feel, um, it felt hard, but also gentle, so even though it felt like a good, powerful hit, it felt like a gentle uh, metal was hitting that big, powerful hit, which is, again, that's a nice feeling, with it being a slightly more of a forged head, I guess that's what that kind of idea, the softer metal is allowing you to do. That was really well hit. I love that one. Oh, I just tugged that one. Just pulled it up that left side. But again, it doesn't feel like I could... Let me hit one more. Sorry, that was a bit of a... A little bit of a pull on my side. Uh, not too much offset, which again, I like the look of it behind the ball. Um, I, could, I could potentially think about even playing an iron like this if it wasn't quite as strong lofted, maybe maybe moving into the pros, which you'll see in the next video, whether I like those ones. Yeah, they feel awesome. <laughs> they do, they feel, like I say that, that can't, you get that hard feel off it. Probably not gonna stop on the green there with the foot. All right, it's just about. You get that hard feel, yet, you get that hard sensation, yet it's a soft feel. Nice noise, nice height, nice flight. Just worried that those middle lines are a bit strong. Right, let's move into pitching wedge. So pitching wedge is uh, 40, was it, I think it's 45 degrees. So kind of, what, what generally happens here, it's, like, it's almost like the, <clears throat> the longer irons are relatively standard loft because you don't want to make those irons too hard to hit. The short irons are obviously generous in loft because you don't want them to be too strong. But that middle section, the, the kind of eight, seven, six iron has been pumped too strong. We've kind of missed the club in there somewhere. Well, I think the pro might just, uh, might be a better balance between the clubs there. Let's, I'm just going to put myself out to about 140 yards away from this flag and hit some wedge, some wedges. Uh, lovely looking wedge. I could definitely use that wedge because it's not, it's not too big and chunky. Um, I feel like I could judge distance control on that quite nicely. I'm saying all this, let's see if I can actually judge distance control on it. So 140 degree, 140 yards away, this pin. Yeah, lovely. It has the same, don't go too far, don't go too far. Yeah, good. It has that same kind of feeling, good distance control there. It has that same sensation as the, uh, the longer irons there. It's that kind of, it feels solid, hit, with a soft, cushioning kind of uh, sensation as well with the forged. I like these. I do. I like them a lot. I just so I just don't want them to be too strong and make it um, the ball go a little bit too far. Said nobody ever. Um, <laughs> let's see. That one's pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. I like the wedge. I could definitely, definitely play with the, the lower clubs in this kind of range. I think they're really soft. I think they're, they're not too big and chunky. They've got the right, the right balance there. Um, to be fair, none of the clubs look too ridiculously chunky. That's, that's kind of uh, spinning about 8,000. The first one spun at 10,000. So, the first wedge. So, 
summary of these irons. I think they look the business. I love the satin chrome finish. Um, I like the softness. I feel that potentially the middle irons are a bit too strong, therefore are gonna be harder to control for your better player. If you want more distance though, that might be what you're looking to do and might be if you're even a better player who wants more distance but a feel that is, is there, that might suit you as well. Um, love the four, love the wedge or long irons, love the wedge. Uh, I just think that's a better, a be really pretty looking wedge that I could definitely use. Um, I like those. As a, as a whole, a very, very good set of golf clubs. Um, I said, I just find that when when I'm hitting that midline too long, it kind of just scares me when it's not potentially designed for too much length. But very nice set indeed. Right, I'm going to move into the pros next. Stay tuned. Let's see how they perform. Let's see how they fly. I think they're going to suit me a lot better. And I might just see later on down the line whether I can get hold of that pro combo set because that could be the, the missing ingredient. That could be the... Yeah, that could be it. That could be, have everything, a bit of everything in there. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, do thumb it up. Do comment down below. Do you like the clubs? Do you like the new software? Let us know. It'd be great to hear your thoughts down below, as always. Do comment, do subscribe, and we'll see you next time uh, testing the new Callaway Apex Pro Irons. I'm, uh, like I said, I think I've got a slight crush on them at the moment. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time.